Hapale, this is Audrey Tang. You're not looking at a deep fake. If you look at a QR code here or enter the URL here, you will see a digitally signed description uh, referring to this video. Indeed, it's just five minutes worth of video, but it's part of hundreds and hundreds of hours of content that we have released since I became digital minister uh, in 2016. I practice radical transparency. All the meetings, all the journalists, all the lobbyists, even internal meetings that I chair, publish the video or a transcript in this way. And so we learn to be accountable to the future in the administration. The camera here stands for the future generations, including you who are watching this, but also all the stakeholders that will be affected by the meetings that we hold. And because of that, the lobbyists, the public servants, they argue from a viewpoint of becoming a better ancestor, simply because raising an argument that sacrifice future generations wouldn't make much sense. The idea of radical transparency is indeed one of the most important part in Taiwan's counter-pandemic effort. That's what enabled us to counter a pandemic with no lockdown. And we realized very early on that radical transparency also means radical participation. Anyone can pick up the phone and call the toll-free number 1922 to input their ideas into the collective intelligence. More than 2 million phone calls last year alone. It also enabled radical accountability. Anyone queuing up to buy medical grade mask in nearby pharmacies can use their phone to check chatbots and more than 100 different applications to make sure that this um, auditable trail of mask purchasing is actually fair. It also enabled radical inclusion. It enabled people, for example, who are immigrant workers who do not have citizenship in Taiwan to still have access in the nearby convenience store, exactly the same as pharmacies where they also use their health insurance card, which covers all the residents, not just citizens, and get the masks available. And the same extent to all forms of healthcare. So much so that in Taiwan, we're one of very rare jurisdictions where it's actually cheaper to get a mask and get a full diagnosis in a nearby clinic compared to a RT-PCR drive-through tests in other jurisdictions. And all this relies on a infrastructure a public digital infrastructure that builds upon the civic sector. The social sector people who built the multi-stakeholder internet also contributed to the universal broadband on making the internet available as fast as possible, but not slower than 10 megabits per second at any point in Taiwan. The civic sector also contributed to the digital competence education so that the young children in primary school learn about climate science by measuring air quality using an air box. By fact-checking the presidential candidates during their debate, they learn about media competence and putting forth the narrative on their own rather than just listening or watching television or radio. And so in conclusion, I believe the Taiwan model is the shared model between all the democracies that want to fight the infodemic with no takedown and the pandemic with no lockdown. And I sincerely wish that the same model of universal broadband, universal digital competence can spread in all the digitally democratic polities so that we will together foster a shared infrastructure that enable listening as skill. Thank you for listening. Live long and prosper.